guys, Bob's here and welcome to the Kingdom of Retro Gaming. Um, today we are going to delve into the PSP and hit up the Jackass game. Now, I was a huge fan of Jackass when I was like 14, 15 years old and I actually only found out there was a game for this uh, like a week ago and it was one of the first ones I had to, I had to play. So uh, let's, let's check it out. Um, 2007 the game came out. Uh, it was like first year of university for me. Yeah, I, I loved it. Jackass, all the stuff that came after it, uh, Viva La Bam, um, the CKY before it. Uh, when I was in school, I actually had my own version of it called uh, Twisted. It was myself, Jamie Kent, and um, Dave Spider Smith. Shout out to you two boys. Uh, and we used to just go around school doing crazy stuff like um, I got spanked with a cricket bat. And oh, here we go. Oh, just hearing that theme music is amazing. Boom. Oof. Oh, Ryan Dunn, what a hero. Rest in peace. These guys, the reason I actually started thinking about Jackass and stuff again was because I came across um, the Bathroom Break podcast by Rab himself, who's obviously one of the Jackass guys. And I was drawn to it because he has been out of the spotlight for like 20 years. As soon as Viva La Bam finished, he was done, he was gone. Until this podcast that apparently he started like two, week, two years ago. And, that, and then I saw he was interviewing a bunch of the Jackass guys. And I just started YouTubing a bunch of Jackass stuff. And then this came up and I just I freaked out. I could not believe it. I don't know how it's a game. Welcome to Jackass. I'm Johnny Knoxville. Welcome to Jackass. Oh my God, yes. So what have we got? Story mode. It's multiplayer. Oh, the music. Here we go, story mode. What have we got going on? How is there a story? Johnny Knoxville. That famous jacket he wore in literally every episode. So they need a new director. Who we got? Pontius, Steve-O, and Dunn. <gasps> what? Don't sprain your vagina. Okay. So we're taking over from Jeff Tremaine. Don't fuck this up. Okay, Jeff, jeez. Okay, straight in. A chinko precipice, rooftop car stop. Let's just start, oh. I mean, we'll just start at the top, right? Let's go. A chinko. Also, I gotta launch myself down the mountain and like hurt myself as much as possible. Fuck yeah. It's like that kitty cannon. Oh, careful sushi. Good day to die. Fly 30 yards, finish with 100 grand in injuries. Okay, yeah. Hit a mattress, land in the water, get to the bottom in 30 seconds. Go. So I'm just gonna go by left and right. Oh, it's L and R, okay. Uh, blah. Oh, what? 27 G's. Okay, but I need 100 G's. Okay, okay. I think I'm getting it here. So I've got to use the triggers. Oh. 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 There's a dislocated left foot. Oh shit. Oh. Oh, careful, Sushi. Oh. I can't even get off the. Splat. 
Okay, 63,000. Moving up, moving up. Starting to get the hang of it. Fly 30 yards before the finish. I haven't seen a mattress yet either. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I have no idea what happened. Camera just cut off for a bit. Um, but yeah, still on level one. Uh, but we've landed in the water, so we've got to find this mattress. Where is this mattress? I'm going to go all the way to the left this time and see if we can find it. Oh. Oh, so you just die straight away there. 69,000 though. Okay. Let's go to the right. Whoa. Oh, shit. A what? That sucks. I'm not seeing a mattress anywhere. Down the middle. Whoa. The graphics remind me, like the crashing and stuff reminds me of um, Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Whenever you wipe out, if you just get fully, and then just roll around the level like this. Oh, but there must be a technique to this that I'm completely missing. I'm not seeing a mattress anywhere. Oh, it's going to be at the bottom, isn't it? Hmm. Is that the mattress? Yes. Okay. Wow. This has not gone well. But we hit the mattress. So now we just gotta go oh and we gotta land in the water. Curse splash. That was terrible. Uh, always accompanying me in these uh, podcasts or vlogs, or whatever, is uh, Guaylo. Guaylo IPA Lager. Come on, let's do this. Fly for 30 yards. I need to get like, some big air. Mm, not like that. Come on. This is not. Oh. Okay, we've got some speed. We've got some speed going here. Oh. Ah, not ideal though. Excuse me. 42. See? A lot of injuries. 48,000. So I need 100 grand. Okay, we're going for speed this time, that's it. Straight up speed. 30 seconds, go. I'm pressing the wrong trigger, oh God. Is it easier to avoid the rocks? Let's see. Seems like it. Whoosh. Oh, getting huge air. Oh, what? Oh. Oh. Damn! Show me 100 Gs. Show me 100... Oh, 88. Okay. So you gotta like really fuck yourself up to get that 100 Gs. 30 yards though. Okay, if I mark the next one. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go, come on. We're gonna get 30 yards. We're gonna fly 30 yards. Ah, oh, stop fucking... I'm pressing the wrong button. Whoa. Boom. Concussion. Oh, it's not great. No, this isn't good. We've only gone eight yards. Oh. Oh, there's a broken neck though. Some, a couple more broken bones and uh, splat. Okay. I'm gonna try and dig out 
twisted. I don't. I think I lost the first one because what's crazy is I actually edited it on the school computers. And I got away with a lot of shit at that place. Just in one of the like computer labs, I would go in at lunch times and in my free periods and stuff. I edit it, upload all the stuff we'd film that day. The first one was like an hour and twenty minutes, all edited. I taught myself to edit on like iMovie in those little on those old school Macs. And then the second one I did at home, but I was all I was getting all artsy and I was doing media studies then. Excuse me. So it's all there's like weird ass stunts, but then mixed in is like oh like the scenes of the mountains in Verbier and all that weird shit, kind of like CKY, but. At the time I thought it was awesome. Actually, I still think it's awesome. I'm going to try and find that. It must be on an old hard drive or something around, around the house. What's going on? Why is this loading so long? Okay, so we're back. We've just done Pachinko Precipice, so we're going to move down to Rooftop with Cart Stop. Oh, tune 96, quite bit, or bead. So CKY, I used to watch those movies, and then I actually got into the band, the music. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Music's... Uh. Whoa! Wait, who am I? Hold on, the music is going a bit... No, the music... 96 Corbel Beings has... Go, go, go. I thought I was done. Yeah! I had no idea what we're supposed to do there. But now I realize what we do. You gotta stop right before the edge. Oh, fuck. That was dumb. Go. Oh, shit. So shit at this. Okay. We can definitely do this. I'm going way too far. Oh! All right, let's go. Fuck! I am so shit at this. I can't believe I didn't know this game came out. I was a huge fan of Jackass. Oh my god. This is crazy. Come on, come on, done. Random hero. Oh, fuck. That was terrible. Again, we go again. I was super bummed out when I found out about Ryan Dunn, actually. Uh, ah, he was, he was probably my favorite. I mean, I was, I was drawn to Bam, because in mine, he was like the, the leader in Viva La Bam. Um, this is so frustrating, because it's so simple. Bring it on, Hobnob. Oh my god, come on. Yes! Play it safe. Is that a draw? No, I lost. B. 
bitch. 1-0. Come on, Dunn. Random hero. I just loved everything about those guys when, the, when, when this came out. Oh, shit. Too early. Ryan Dunn, uh, Rab himself. As I mentioned before, uh, his Bathroom Blake podcasts. I've just found them a couple of weeks ago, and <clears throat> huge fan. I watched the one of him and Bam, him and Ape, Phil and Ape, um, uh, who else? I'd love to see Deacon Miller on there. Uh, I started watching the Rake Yarn one, uh, I, need to, I need to get back on that. It's so cool hearing all their stories from back in the day. Oh my god. Fucking lost again. This is ridiculous. Okay, one more try, and then we'll move on to the next, uh, the next stunt. Oh, that was a fucking close. Come on. I wonder if this is literally just the Tony Hawk mod. Because like the levels, everything. I mean, just change the shopping trolley for the for the skateboards. This is unbelievable. <sighs> I've got to win both of these. <laughs> Come on, this is it. Oh, I've got to win three. Good enough. Last one on this level. Let's go. Come on, Don. Show me what you got. Fuck, too much. <sighs> Sensible. Imagine if they did this. Oh, fuck. I went way too early there. Oh, there's a white line. I'm seeing the white line now. Give me a little tickle. Who am I going against? Pontius. Yes. The white line. Oh! Fuck! Okay, last one. Let's go. Unreal. Okay, let's exit stunt. That's a fail. Can't believe that. I actually got into so much weird music. Well, not weird music, just different music than I ever listened to from watching like Viva La Bam and Jackass and also that led on to like The Dude Sons and Dirty Sanchez. Um, all of that stuff, like uh, in Viva La Bam, Rake, I think they go to a snowboarding, they go skiing to a skiing festival, and they, they invite Gwar, who are this weird fucking band who are aliens, I think basically, from outer space, and they sing some weird fucking songs, and they have like fire shooting out of their, shooting out of their instruments, and then like, there's a chick who's a slave, in the band, excuse me. And in one of the songs, I think it's called Nitro Burning Funny Bong. Oh man, every time I go out of a... Every time I go out of a... Um, a level, it, it closes for some reason. But was, oh. Oh shit. No, there we go. Resume. We're back. Suburban wakeboarding. Here we go. This looks pretty sick. I remember seeing this in the show also. And also they have Wee Man on the red carpet, dressed as a, like a, a king. Just behind the car. Here we go. Oh shit. I didn't see what my... 
rewrite gold, destroy 30 mailboxes, tip over 5 trash bins, grind a moving vehicle, fence grind 500 yards, bail out into a jackass RV. Jesus, okay. This is, Jesus, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. So, I can just jump, I can't swing out or anything, so how the fuck am I supposed to get these other mailboxes? I'm going to get five of them? No idea what was going on there. That was poor. Destroy 30, okay. Okay, let's try that shit again. We got Steve out here, let's go. Come on, Steve. Oh. He was all kinds of fucked up when they were filming this show. Good for him, like, I think he just had 10 years or something, 10 years sober recently. He's also got an amazing podcast. Uh, him and Rab himself, uh, uh, what's it called, Steve-O's Wild Ride, uh, and he has pimped out his van, so go check that out, Steve-O's Wild Ride, um, oh, did I grind that? Nah, damn it, one trash can. How does that not... Yeah. Oh, Jesus. This is not going well. Although, I'm starting to pick it up. Oh. I don't know. Time up. 24 mailboxes. Okay, so I ground the moving vehicle. So I got a. Jesus, that was only 150. So let's go for the fence grind this time. So we're just going to go fence grind only. Whole time. Boom. We can smash a load of mailboxes whilst grinding fence. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, oh. Boom, boom. We're going this way. Oh, snap, son. Smash them mailbox. God damn it. Sounds like Carmen. <laughs> Steve sounds like that man. Oh. Jesus. Oh snap, that's 30. And there's 500. Oh, so you have to do all of them in the same one? Do you? Or did I just freak that? I don't know if you have to do them all in the same... Ah, damn it! Fuck! I'm missing all the bins. Oh! Hey, I got one! Eighteen thousand... Okay, so yeah, I just have the tip over now. Five... Five, five trash bins. We'll try one more time on this level. Boom. Find those trash bins, green trash bins. Okay, here we go. Boom. One. 
We even know where the others are. Oh yeah. Grind. Was this ever? Um, am I on a? I'm on a dustbin lid or dustbin lid? What I don't say. A rubbish bin lid. Surfing. Oh, oh shit! Missed one. Okay. Now I just remember where they are. Or is there only one there now? I have to go all the way back round. Fuck. Boom, that's four. Well, that's only three. Come on. Where are you? What's crazy is playing this game, the graphics are pretty terrible, but I'm loving it. I'm having a great time. Like this. It's not bothering me in the slightest, the graphics. Although I guess, after the other games I've been playing, this is actually a step up. Oh, there we go, four out of five. Hurry up, eight seconds left. Oh my god, last one! Yeah! Boom! Um, oh, how do I bail? Bail out into a jackass RV. I don't, I'm assuming that big RV is... Okay, so that's how we bail out. Okay, let's, let's have a go at one more, one more stunt. Uh, one more level, okay? Okay, I'm going to do one more level here. So, between Party Boy and Golf Rally. I think in the trailer I saw Golf Rally and it looked epic. So I'm just going to give that one a go. Let's play ball. I remember this, watching this in Jackass, and he when he fell out and the golf cart actually landed on him. Oof. The list of injuries these guys had. I'm surprised any of them are still alive. This is the golf rally. Knock down all the flags, run down five attendants, bail out into an attendant's hut. 1.5 seconds of airtime and 10 grand in injuries. Okay. Man, let's go. So I knock down all the flags first. I haven't knocked down any flags yet. How much air time was that? Ooh. So there's nine flags for these assholes. Uh, Six out of nine. Seven out of nine. Oh, I can just smack them out. Boom, all flags knocked down. How do we bail out? Okay, let's bail out into the bail out into the shark. Ooh. Ooh. Get back in the get back in the golf cup. Oh, what? Okay, run down five attendants. That should be fairly straightforward. So they're all in the hearts. Are they? Are there more attendants? Uh, oh. oh, I got him. Get him off me! Blah. Yeah. That's three. That's four. Come on, where are you, bitch? Blah. Splatted him. And con. Oh. Oh, I missed the attendance up. That was poor. This is a cool level though. Oh, boom, there we go. There's my 10 grand. 22,000. So bail out into an attendance hut. Okay. And get 1.5 seconds of air time. Okay. 
Check. This is awesome. I'm gonna go back and start watching a bunch of old Jackass again. Like, I can't believe I didn't know about this game. Oh, so what do we need? We just need 1.5 seconds of airtime here. There we go. There we go. There's a ramp. Boom. Gold medal, motherfucker. Hey. Whoa. Oh, I thought I was going to at least hit the shark. Still the first one I've got five stars. $89. Boom. Well, there we go. That's pretty sick. Um, it definitely goes back to... I can't... I, can't, I just still can't believe that they actually have a game. That's amazing. I will definitely be playing more of it. Um, I didn't know the PSP had games. I does on the PS2 as well. PS2 and PSP. So I'm definitely going to be delving into some um, some different games from around that area era. So era, sorry, because I was thinking always retro gaming has to be before the year 2000 maybe. But in actual fact, I would say going up to PS2 and Xbox original. Before then, it's pretty. I mean, that's like 15, at least 15 years ago, maybe 20 years. I say that counts as retro. I mean, I still love my old school uh, snares and nares. I've also got the Dreamcast. We could definitely whip out a few games on that. Uh, the WWE Royal Rumble game on there is amazing. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, we'll uh, do this again, play some more games, and uh, we'll catch you guys soon. Uh, this has been Bob's in the Kingdom of Retro Gaming, and I'll catch you guys soon. Peace.